probably noticed just in my voice and my face, I'm a bit on edge. I am. Um, I'm waiting for a phone call. Dude, I've said this in the past and they've never replaced it yet, but I just always worry that they might change it to Jurassic World. And not that I don't think the Jurassic World movies are great, I just love the original. And I think we all love an original, don't we? Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to a brand new vlog. We are currently in Islands of Adventure, and I am so excited. I've got me wand, which I bought in the last vlog. If you haven't seen that vlog, make sure you go back and watch that. I purchased the wand after five years, finally done it, and we're gonna go around and test it around Hogsmeade. And actually, guys, Hogsmeade isn't as busy as I thought it was gonna be. Usually, usually you can't walk anywhere there's that many people. Anyway, guys, wands at the ready. Let's go exploring. But first, if you like this type of content, you're probably thinking, what on earth is Danny doing? <laughs> Where is these vlogs going? Just wait for it. <laughs> anyway guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, oh God, I can hear my family cringing at the TV. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, click that subscribe button and let's go and explore with me wand around Hogsmeade. So the first place we're gonna be is here. And this one is a swish and around and up. Or is it the other way? No, it'll be down, won't it, and then along. Right, here we go. Wish me luck. Is that working? Hang on, no. We want to start down, go, and then down. Where's the camera? Hang on. I need to make sure that I'm not waving it too much, because if you wave it too much, it doesn't work. <gasps> I've done it! There we go. Right, so guys, here's your little tip for you. When you're doing this, just make sure there's no, yeah, there's no one else around. When you're doing this, you just need to do it small like that. I don't know at that time, no I haven't, hang on, how do you do it again? Right, small. Oh, now it's not working, right, hang on. Oh, it's not working now. Guys, don't ever come to me for one training. What the plans are today as well. We're just gonna take it easy. I'm just gonna chill around the park. We have, obviously, in the previous video that you saw, we've spent quite a lot of time in, you know, Universal. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, to be honest, guys, I'm absolutely knackered. It is really, really warm today. I think it's been like mid-20s, but it's the humidity as well. That's the thing, it's the humidity that gets you. But we're gonna spend a few hours in here and just basically, like I say, take it easy. If you are interested though in wait times, there's actually a delay currently at the moment at Hagrid's which is generally quite a normal thing there's always something wrong with this right I don't know it, it, generally out of all my trips it goes down at least once every time so just prepare for that maybe try and plan your day uh, like uh, not around it but maybe maybe think about if you can't do it in the morning try in the afternoon sort of thing and just maybe check the app before coming in just before we do anything can we just appreciate Hogwarts I think because I've been playing a lot of the game Hogwarts Legacy, if you just haven't been playing it then, well on earth have you been? <laughs> it's such a good game, and because I've been playing a lot of that, like, just seeing the castle, man, it's just, yeah. I am, um, I love it, I love it, and what's so good is there's a ride in there, so you get to walk through the whole of Hogwarts, and it, it really is, I just wish there was a hotel, could you imagine? Anyways, guys, wish me luck, because I am going to be heading on this on my own for the first time ever. So I've done this many times. When I say this right, this is a Velocicoaster, <laughs> guys. Um, do you know what? This channel has completely changed my life in the sense of, you know, being able to travel as often as I do. But the main biggest thing was first getting on a plane on my own, which I did and I never thought I could do. And I've always said to everyone, there's no way I could ride this ride on my own. And do you know what? Today's the day I'm gonna do it. And do you know what? Even as I'm walking towards it and I can see the flames and everything, my heart. B -b 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 <laughs> I'm gonna do it though. You only live once. I really can't believe you know I'm about to do this. I really can't. I'm um I'd be alive, I told you I wasn't really nervous. But I can do this, I know I can. Sell guys, I did it. I 
did it. I don't, I don't know how I did it, but I did do it on my own. I wonder, actually, you can't take pictures of the screens. But see, I'll show you because some of you might actually think I didn't, but I did. It was really nice as well because I was sitting next to a fellow bloke from Manchester who was also a single rider. And bless him, it was it was really nice actually. Because um, I was thinking I might actually be sitting on my own, like with no one else around me. But actually, it was nice because we were just chatting before it took off because it was a bit of a delay. But <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I've done it. So I will show you the wait times as well. So obviously the park's open 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. Um, Incredible Hulk, only 15 minutes. Velocicoaster now 45, so the time's actually gone up a tad little bit. There was, um, I need to see these times again. A ride, uh, Poseidon's Fury 25. That has just been confirmed as closing. So no wonder that's, uh, they've just redone it as well. I don't know how true that is. I'd love to know in the comments. I'm gutted, I do love Poseidon's Fury. We'll probably not have a chance to do it today. Anyway, next ride, River Adventure. G. Love this ride. So good. That just had to be done. It did. It just had to be done. I uh, I really hope they never replace that ride. I do, I've do. i said this in the past and they've never replaced it yet. But I just always worry that they might change it to Jurassic World. And not that I don't think the Jurassic World movies are great. I just love the original. And I think we all love an original, don't we? We really do. It's, um, it's a strange one. It's getting sad now because we're getting towards the end. But I wouldn't say towards the end of this series. We've still got like four, four or five vlogs left, but it's it's my last time in Universal, and the next time I come to Universal, it'll be very different, and um, I will explain the reason why um, it'll be very different. But it is going to be a completely different, a completely different time, a more exciting time. I will say that, but it's all starting to become a reality now, and it's crazy. If you know what I mean? It is crazy. Right before we leave the park, it has to be done, guys. We have to do. Poseidon Fury we can't you know we can't not do this and like I say I don't know how true this is it's just something that I read that this was closing I really hope it doesn't because this ride man is, is such a cool experience I would love to know in the comments if uh, if you if you've done this ride <laughs> is because I've heard this is absolutely brilliant for scenic views of the park and actually I will agree we can see everything and do you know what it's a first for the channel as well kind of reminds me of like people move I kind of Hi. when you come down the road did you happen to see a sign for a village called MNO yeah oh we're going over the water by the way Poseidon brilliant so good so good. before we leave we cannot leave without visiting the gift shop omg look at that lounge fly bag that's so nice i definitely don't think i could pull it off but it's lovely oh i'm loving this minions cup minion dave this is ten dollars this jurassic park bag oh my god this is everything Oh, this really is everything. But it's just, oh, I can't bring myself to it. How much is it? $82. Oh, 
That is so cool. Oh, they've got a kid's Jurassic Park lunchbox. Oh, that's so cool. $24. Oh, some of these are really cool as well. I just know I could not get this on the plane home. But yeah, not for $80 either, but yeah. These are nice. You could use this as a really nice coffee mug. This is interesting, this. I could imagine taking this out on me walks and stuff. This is the thing, like, especially when you're out in Florida, you want stuff like this that's going to keep your drinks cold for a long time because it gets so warm out here. For any Lego fans out here, you're going to love this. It's bloody, it's massive. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, sometimes I help me at uh, my niece and nephews set up their Lego stuff and it would take me hours to do that. <laughs> it really would. I, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely not the best at putting things together. Let's put that way. Literally, I'm in stitches over this. <laughs> Absolute stitches. He's so cute though, $15. God, I might, I might take this home. Well, anyway, guys, that's us leaving Islands of Adventure. I didn't end up buying anything. There was just a few things that I, I wanted, but then, it, I don't know. Yeah, I am... Um, Potentially we'll pick some stuff up over at Disney over the next couple of days. I do have a list of stuff that Connor wants us to pick up. I am, um, but yeah, I just didn't find it in there, unfortunately. I must say in mind, I've had such a lovely evening in Islands. I have, it's just been so nice. And I've met a couple of you guys. And we've done Velocicoaster. We did that little track. I just, today, because I can't imagine being back here anytime soon, I just want to do some things that I wouldn't usually do at Islands. And, yeah, I am a bit gutted. I didn't. I didn't manage to ride. Um, I didn't. I didn't manage to go into Hogwarts, which was a shame. Just didn't have time. I really wanted to do Poseidon. At the end of the day, from what I'm from, what I'm gathering, Poseidon is going. I might be getting rethemed to another ride or something, but Poseidon will always have a place in my heart because in 2017, when me and Con first ever visited here and I fell in love with Florida, Poseidon was a big part of that. It's it, it, it really was. So I had to do it one last time. I don't know if it'll still be out on the next go get back out. It's the same with Jurassic. Every time I go on Jurassic, I'm always like, is this going to be the final time before they retheme it? No news, by the way, from Universal to say that they are going to retheme it, but you just don't know, do you? You know what I mean? Anyway. And we're going to walk back to Portofino Bay where my car is parked and we're going to, uh, yeah, and I'm going to head back to the villa. If you're wondering why I parked at Portofino Bay, it's because my friend Ava was staying at Portofino Bay last night. Um, and we've actually had Express Pass all day today. Um, I didn't really vlog much about it because, to be honest, I haven't really used it really that much, to be honest, because sometimes the rights have been quite short, as we've seen, so we just went down the, the standard. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a lovely day. <sighs> Good morning. Look at the weather, it's atrocious. It's been doing this literally for the last few hours. It's not stopped raining. I am. Um, I was on the phone to my friends this morning at like 7.30 a.m. and it was like proper thunder and lightning and the phone kept cutting off. So yeah, <laughs> it's definitely been interesting. I'll move a bit further ahead because there's a flicker behind me. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know what to do today guys because obviously it's the next morning as you can tell. And uh, it's just rain, <laughs> it's just rain. Who knows what we should do? Probably notice just in my voice and my face, I'm a bit on edge. I am. Um, I'm waiting for a phone call. And this is like a phone call that's 18 months in the making. And I just can't wait for it to come through. I really can't, but it's just the anxiety. And I just can't wait just to be able to like chat to you guys about stuff. And just for like, I feel like over the last like 12 months, me and Con have had to like just tread on eggshells all the time just with everything that's been going on. And I'm hoping after today that's the end of it and I'll feel like there's a huge weight off, off our shoulder. And you're probably thinking, what on earth are you talking about? I know this doesn't make ounce of sense. I just need someone to talk to. I need someone to get this off my chest. And you guys are the next best thing right now. I'm here on my own. I am, um, I just can't wait for all this to be over. In a positive way though, not in a bad way. Just can't wait for it all to be over. Anyway, I know I'm not making an ounce of sense, but just thank you for listening. Universal Studios was really, really good yesterday. I was, um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I am, um, it's the only time we've been to Universal um, this trip. 
my um, um i don't have an annual pass anymore so i just had the day ticket and then my friend ava she was staying at um, portofino bay which meant that we got express tickets it actually was one of a, a quick tip for you guys rather than buying individual express tickets sometimes and i mean this sometimes it makes more sense for one person to book a room at like portofino bay and then for you all to go half us and um, that's what we did so ava put me down and three of her friends um, I didn't stay in the hotel obviously because I'm at the villa but they all stayed and it just means that we all had express and it cost a fraction of the cost of what it would if we had have booked them at actual Universal. I think on the day they were trying to do like a hundred and something dollars for both for both parks it was like 140 or 160 so it was just a lot more cost effective doing the Portofino Bay and they got experience a hotel and also we got the experience of going to Portofino Bay which was yeah what a beautiful hotel I don't think I've seen a hotel as nice as Portofino Bay before I would actually probably say that Portofino Bay is probably the best hotel I've ever visited I am um, I would even say it even goes above most of the Disney ones to be honest I am um, I was blown away but it is a costly hotel that is the thing but you do get the express passes and stuff but yeah it was good. I'm just, the, the theme in it, obviously it's themed after like it's Italy, I think it is. I haven't done a lot of research on it. I just parked there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the theme in, the inside, even when you walked in, you were greeted immediately by uh, staff welcome to portofino bay that does happen with a lot of the disney hotels as well it's not just it's not just universal but yeah that's just uh, yeah and eva eva said that the hotel rooms were absolutely stunning as well so it must have been yeah because i didn't get to see the rooms but yeah it, it looked like a brilliant hotel and i'm really pleased because i bought me wand in the end best thing i did yesterday was going in go, like buying this and then taking it back to the car and going back in the reason being is eva also bought a wand yesterday and her box wasn't the best wasn't in the best condition by the time i met up with them at like eight o'clock at night and that's because they'd been walking around the park with it so if you do have the option of parking it might make more sense to leave come back and put the box in safe or just buy it at the end but yeah it might see most people's bags might be big enough to fit the one box in it's like if you look at the size of my head so it's like double the size of my head maybe one and a half of my head so i don't know why i should have done it on my arm or something shouldn't i not probably not best putting it on my head but not like most of have measured my head like but i don't know I don't, it doesn't, I don't think it has a size on the box i don't know but what i will say right for a long time I've been very skeptical about getting one of them ones. The reason being is I thought it's a novelty thing, am I even going to use it? Boy, I'm going to be using it every single time. It is good. It's good man. And I'm a bit gutted because I didn't get to do a lot of it in Hogsmeade just because of the time. But don't worry, when I next go back to Universal Studios I will definitely be taking a wand again. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing more magic. It's a shame I can't do it at home. But this is the reason why I wanted the box to be safe because this box is going to fit on my Disney collection so and it's a really nice box it feels nice I just hope it doesn't get damaged in the case but anyway guys if you've enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button if you haven't clicked subscribe already hit that subscribe button I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members Patreon members get access to early vlogs and early content and things like that if you'd be interested in Patreon the link is below and just before we go guys we're coming towards the end of this series I, um, I just want to say a huge thank you to every single person who's reached out, who's ever messaged me on Insta, who's ever met me in the parks and said hi. Just, just, I just mean this to every single person. Thank you so bloody much. I am... Um, I can't wait for this day to be over. It's going to make sense. I know, like, for some years, probably, like, you're not making any sense. And I promise it will make sense, hopefully, in the next vlog. Um, I'm not going anywhere until I've had this phone call because I just won't be able to enjoy my day. And it's not a bad phone call, it should be a positive one. But it's that, like, my, my mind, I suffer really bad with anxiety and, like, and I know I don't really talk about this in a lot in vlogs and I'm not going to start talking about it now either, but I don't know, I always, feel, I always look at the worst in situations, always feel the worst in situations, so I don't know. We'll... It should all be cleared up in the next vlog, guys. That's all I'm going to say. But thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope, I hope you have a lovely day. 
Thank you so much, guys. I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Being around this bit, this is where the big boat goes past, and this place behind me is Tom Sawyer's Island. And I don't know how well you can see this, but if you want to pause the video at any point to check the wait times, this is the wait times currently. Now, this is the life. Oh, I've been needing this seat all day. This is the best thing about the people moving.